Hey guys, good afternoon. How to activate your super powers, intuitive mind. Okay, this is what this video is basically about. It's gonna give you a quick tutorial on how to activate your super powers, which is known as your in intuitive mind or your intuition, right? So the intuition is basically the brain's perception from the subconscious mind of facts. That's basically what intuition is. So an intuition is is basically, you know, your subconscious mind sending information to the brain as facts. Then the brain sends that information back to you in the form of hunches, nudges, and feelings. That's what your intuition is. Notice the key word, facts. That means truth, knowing, okay? So I'm going to teach you how to strengthen it or how to activate it if you haven't done so already. Now, you know, having intuitive powers is an excellent advantage because when you have intuitive powers you can create better realities you can be ahead in business relationships wealth happiness it gives you an edge because you have an unhinged powerful unlimited supply of intelligence and knowledge are coming from your subconscious or higher mind okay so that's what we're going to talk about so intuition operates on a different dimension though, okay? It's, it's sort of like a second intelligence. You have first intelligence, which is known as intellect, intelligence of the mind. And then you have the second intelligence, which it operates in a different field or spectrum. It basically operates within the realm of knowing. It picks things up and it communicates to you, to you through nudges and hunches, all right? So how can I activate it? All right, so here's a simple tip. This is for beginners, anyone can do this. The best way to activate your intuition or those what I call superpowers is through crystals. Okay? That's the simplest format. You know, you've all heard, yeah, meditation, uh, spending time in nature. Yes, we all can do that. But if you want a quicker or a more effective way to activate your intuition, crystals. All right. What type of crystals? Well, in particular, amethyst. So here's what you do. You purchase yourself some amethyst or amethyst crystal. Now, a lot of us, we have crystals and we know the power of crystals. And I'll talk a little bit about the power of crystals in a minute, in a second. But so you buy your crystals and we use them for certain energy, cleansing and, and adorance and so forth. But when you use amethyst, the amethyst is in conjunction with your nervous system. Okay. It has high properties and high conductive energy towards your nervous system. And that's where you get your intuition through that gut or through that instinctive part right so what you want to do get yourself some amethyst or small amethyst crystal and just put it under your pillow and sleep with it that's it that's how you're going to develop your intuition now you do one more thing in accordance with that start to observe your daily reality become more observant okay start watching individuals notice people's body language notice how you feel just become more observant in your outer reality okay if you do these in conjunction with the amethyst crystal you will develop your intuition okay all right mark so how does it work well here's how it works so crystals they are very conductive they emit high energy conductive this is why the electronic industry and things of that nature they use crystals because they're very good at conducting or amplifying energy See, the reason why crystals can do that, because the atomic particle, sorry, the atomic particles in crystals, they operate in what is called a lattice functionality. Basically, it's in an orderly or a symmetrical orderly pattern, okay? They're arranged neatly, so therefore the conductive energy is more trans, trans, transfluent or transmuted, okay? So that's why crystals are so powerful. So let me, let me talk a little bit about the electron, okay? The electron within crystals are all electrons. So electrons they basically spin it carries information okay so you can only have two two ways of information with an electron spin you either have up or down okay that's how quantum physics work we can tell by the structure of these particles how they spin and we can tell the properties and that's called information that's the key component here with which with your intuition information okay if you don't know this or realize by now the universe is comprised of information that's how things quick from an atom you get quarks you get leptons and then it goes down into what we call qubits or information so what happens now is with these crystals they are really good at 
transmitting information, okay? Because of the properties. Remember how they're arranged, okay? Because they're arranged in Latin, lattice structure, right? So that's how you want to create and build your intuition. So pretty much, all you want to do, let me just repeat again, you want to do this. For beginners, get yourself a little amethyst, just put it under your pillow, sleep with it. Every night, you're going to build your intuition. So how does that work? Well, when you're asleep, that's when your subconscious mind or intuitive mind becomes awakened. And with that crystal, it actually charges. It brings a magnetic attraction. It creates more energy. It's a trans, it's a transfluent. It transmits energy. Okay, and now that interacts with your nervous system because that's what amethyst is great for. It's good to cure for healing, and it really goes goes well with your nervous system. Remember, nervous system, all these things, gut. Okay, so when you sleep with the amethyst, you put it under your pillow, just sleep with it. You're actually building your intuition, right? And then when you get up and on your daily routine, just become more observant in your reality. And guess what? You'll start to notice your intuition becoming heightened. You'll start to get hunches, nudges. You'll be in the right place at the right time. You'll make the right call. You'll manifest more wealth, abundance, anything you desire because your intu intuition is basically your superpower. It's like the cheat code, man. It'll show you where to go, what, when to take action, when not to take action. And imagine you can develop that. When you develop that, imagine the power that you have to influence and create your reality, right? So a lot of individuals aren't aware of the power of crystals. And if you want to, I'll give you a hint. Look around in the technology industry. Without crystals, it cannot exist because the properties they contain at the, at the subatomic level, they have silica, you have quartz crystals. These crystals, because of how the atomic structures are arranged, they emit such immense power. Science is just catching up with this. This has been known for thousands of years. Mystics, gurus, everyone, they knew the power of crystals. And now you have a big tip that you can use to help you to heighten or awaken your superpower. All right? So that's how I do it.